practicing them together with every exercise. And we are back. So that they will back with more video games. Am I going to be crazy enough to adjust volume based on the menu music again? Dare I do it? God. God. Do you really need to move it? I don't know what, what it is with Windows and um, full screen applications, but it absolutely destroys Windows like Windows stack. Uh, where windows are placed and I just don't get how it can't restore them even if it does like mess stuff up oh, whatever whatever I'm not a windows engineer that's not my problem to solve yeah new game new game Yeah, the resolution changing. Yeah, I get that going to 1080, like it's changing the rectangles, that the, the window boundaries of everything. The biggest change can come from the most unexpected individual with the audience at your fingertips. All you need is... Already got to go, Milk Carton? Cool, man. Thanks for dropping in. Hopefully you have a good day. Yeah, the coloring's already really good. Reminds me, it reminds me of my favorite animes. This is my moment. This it's the best is way to resolve battle. sound balance in game while when streaming. You got this. Okay. Is this my recording? I guess so. It's an extremely complicated Wait, question. Duke. There is there is no one answer that solves everything. Shake it off. Shake it off. Your hair is fine. Come on. This is our television debut. Yeah. Uh yeah. Yeah, just mute it all. Turn off audio. Ready? Who needs wait, wait, wait. it? Okay, Zook. Stand here, right here. Good. And I'll be at this corner. Just like how we practiced. Gotcha. All right. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to start the recording now. Yeah, it's happening. Time to get famous. Please state your name and introduce yourself briefly. Hey, ya. Uh, the name's Mayday. I wield a guitar, and he a little gorilla -y, huh? And he plays the... Drums. And together, we're Bunk Bed Junction. Woo! Hey, Zook. There sure has been quite a lot of electronic music in this city lately. That's true, man. But you know, this city still lacks a certain something, don't you think? Absolutely, man. Luckily for you guys, we have the This is a fun pairing of characters. Why don't you tell him Big, bright, sunny character oh, with hey, more chill, like... Bunk bed junction. Cool-toned character. We're going to... We're going to junk a, um, in their bunk -a. No, wait, it's uh... That's right, Zook! We're gonna bunk -a, we're gonna junk -a, and we're gonna bam in your faces! We're bringing back rock! This long-forgotten art used to be the backbone of Vinyl City, you know? So be ready to listen to our super tasty riffs off. Okay, cut. That's a good take. Oh, that's it? Yes, we got what we needed. Now please make your way to the audition stage. Just follow the arrows. Thank you. No, thank you so much. That was mighty sweet. Max! Whoa, oh man. That is some blistering movement speed. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Something feels very Dreamcast about this game already. Like it's it's music based. Uh, the characters are like low poly, but very expressive in their animations. It even has like that Y2K feeling of the characters being hyper angular. Um, the funk, funk track in the background. Uh, she's wearing like a mini skirt. How could you forget your line, Zook? It's bunka, then junka, then bam in your faces! I can't help it. As soon as the camera started rolling, I was just... Wow, the lights were just so intense, man. Oh, uh, sorry about the crates. We haven't had time to move them yet. Ah. Just make your way around them, will ya? Not a problem, sir. 
I want to make this one up, okay? We have to look good in front of the world. I want to make a game that's just a series of tutorial hallways. Okay. 60 hours of nothing but double jumping and then crouching and throwing grenades. Maybe interacting with something? Ah. You got to defy the EDM with rock. The EDM Council has decided. Hello, you two. This base does not slap enough. Hello, Tatiana. Right. And Any platformer? We're... Any video game, man. We're Bunk Bed Junction. Bunk Bed Junction? Yes. Because, you see, NSR needs more fans. So we're going to build a new junction right into your highway so that more people can join this awesome full party. Bunk Bed Junction. Woo! Clever. I hope you put as much I might need to move my webcam to the upper left. Name. So what will you play for us today? Oh, it's something the city needs. We're playing rock. Say again. Rock. We're here to bring it back to the top. Oh, a minute. Let me do that so I'm not covering up the art. <laughs> Bam. Now I'm up here. I guess I'm covering up the meters, but I, I expect maybe that won't matter all that much. Let's find out. Just like how cool Fyra did a long time ago. <clears throat> really? Very well, then. Show me what you've got. It's time to... Start me! Oh, okay. Hmm. I need that. Yeah, I need a face cam that just bounces off every corner, changes color every time. I like enemies that like bob with the music. Very rhythm heaven kind of feeling. Space Channel 69? Space Channel 5, you Philistine. Not really, though. It's it's more of a platformer that just has enemies that attack on beat, but you don't have to. Like, your, your attacks are not timed with the music. Huh, okay. What about you, other guy? Do you just flaunt your hair all day? I play the drums. Mm -hmm. Initiate the second phase. Show him, Zook. Yeah, I got this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Space Channel Crypt of the beat 'em up. <laughs> That's a really good way to describe this. I was hoping it'd be like you have to tap the the button in time with the music, but you can just do whatever.
the enemy attacks with the music, your counterattacks should line up in some way too. They kind of do. Um, yeah, jumping to avoid like the big circular slam is sort of timed with the music, but not quite as literally as like. Uh, Yeah, Shane, I'm, I'm going to play bullets per minute after this. It's weird to me the amount... So wait a minute. Here's what's weird to me. Um, there have been a lot of people asking about BPM, and I don't know why. Because um, it's the it's kind of the game where most people probably wouldn't have heard about it. So where where did people see that game? Was it in like a... Was it in a conference? Um, because... A lot of games, this isn't meant to be an insult, but a lot of games of that tier, like m most people on Twitch just don't really hear about. Oh, I saw Layman Gaming do a review. Okay. I've been sitting on the on Steam front page for a bit. Ah. Maybe they uh, maybe they bought some promo from, uh, from Steam or something. I absolutely played Fury, yeah. Never beat it, though. Skill Up made two videos on it. Okay, interesting. I wonder why that one got got YouTuber support. It is not a Devolver game. Devolver's next big release is Series Sam 4, which I'm super excited for. Very good. Now let's see both of you use the skills to power up the Quasa. Hmm? Initiate the final phase. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Oh, he does have a dodge. All right. I'm not quite sure what activating those does. Like, mechanically. I guess you just have to activate them all to end the, the phase of combat. No, it's definitely my kind of game. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's just it. Maybe that's just it. Maybe it's just that simple. Admit the audio mix in this game is really good. Yes. Uh, the music production is has a really good sound. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there's so much electric in this room. How do you think it went? Brilliantly. Thought you'd say that, fellas. What do you think? Oh. Well, one out of six ain't too bad. Hey, now wait a minute there. Oh, Mayday usually creates turrets to deal damage. Ah, okay, Captain. Zook, say something! Um, ta-da! Okay. This is... Hold on, hold on. I'll be blunt. You came here for us to judge you. And it looks like my artists have spoken. You have no future in show business. What? But, 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 but we... We managed to finish the arena and we... We reserve the right to reject you. Even if you finish the course, we have the final say in everything. That's not fair! Please, we run on talent, not fairness. This edition is held to find the next best musician who meets our standards of excellence. And you certainly didn't qualify. Well, that's rich coming from a bunch of wannabe artists. Uh-oh. See that X? 
It means you're done. If I were you, I would swallow my pride and use this time to rethink my career. You can't do this to me! I just did. No! I'm an artist! I'm a performer! A performer! I belong on this stage! Okay, I've heard enough. Thank you very much. Off you go. You haven't heard the last of me, okay? What do you know about rock? I bet you never even held a guitar in your life! Okay, listen, honey. You think you can just walk in here and drag us all into your silly fantasy? You are so naive to think that rock is still relevant. Stop living in the past. There is only one music in demand right now, and that is... EDM. The age of rock is over. That's so awesome. EDM rules this city. I'm very glad they finally made a game about like the fact that guitar-based rock is dead. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, how about you take all these X's and shove them up your? Nice. That was really good animation. You can't do this to us. It's not cool. Super not cool. Can't believe they called us naive. Right? That was bulldozer. Bulldozer, you hear me? I feel you, man. I do. Listen, I know this didn't go as you planned. You think? But it's not good getting worked up mm. over an empty stomach. Why don't we head back first and grab some burgers? Sorry to hear that, Dr. Sinwar. Yeah, I did kind of notice you weren't around as much as usual. Hopefully that... Hopefully times aren't, aren't impossibly uh, broken for you, but... Sometimes we just need moments to chill out. Oh, God. This is like the perfect music for saturated, like, god ray laced, gritty urban night. Walk to Edge of City. Oh, we got credits? Got late title cards? Yeah, I guess so. That counts. Is the renewable energy resource of this universe? Yeah, we're. Hey, it was a straight road. Now it's not. This is a really cool way to do lore. Uh, kind of get people educated about the rules of the game. Hey, look, we're on TV. Isn't that great? Ah! Oh, hey. So wait a minute. The drummer has a good time for us to reflect back at the our drummer has an extendo drums drumsticks that he like screws together to be a walking cane. We high standards when it comes to picking their candidates. Wait, did you see that? We powered the Quasa to almost full capacity. Hmm. That is odd. Those lying idiots! How could they scrap us when we outperformed all the other contestants? This is totally rigged. We need to take action. But there's nothing we can do about it. Oh. Always something Friend of mine got dunked on by her landlords. Money. Friend built a little house on their property print agreement. So landlords then went, haha, we were using it for free labor. Get out. Wow. So she built improvements on the property and the land landlords booted her and then kept the improvements? They're moving to Colorado? Ugh. I'm guessing the uh, the agreement they had didn't account for that. Hi, what man. part of the armed forces are you with? That sucks. <sighs> Vinyl City. I'll never grow tired of seeing this. You know, maybe we're being too hard on NSR. Just look at how much this city has thrived ever since they took over. Oh no, Zook. You did not just say that. Come on. I know it sucks that they didn't pick us, but... I like to believe that they did it based on fair, unbiased judgment. People of Vinyl City, this is Tatiana. In light of the recent abysmal performance like how, of a certain door, yeah, her music is more electronic. 
I would like to announce that rock music is hereby banned from future Lights Up editions. Awesome. For a better prospect at winning, we suggest that you stick to what works, EDM. Remember, also, different animation style. Drive through order. Order leads to progress in Vinyl City. That is all. Have a pleasant evening. What's up, Parrot King? What? What the slimy possum did she say? Oh, dear. Zook. This discrimination is so obvious. NSR can't do something like this. Who do these people think they are? Wait, wait, wait. It's freaking unfair. There must be a rational explanation for this. Are, and it's May. so, so dopey. May? We gotta fix this right now. We need May, to... stop overreacting. Look around you. NSR may be jerks, but you can't deny that they're doing a great job at governing this city. Yeah, we've made the switch from electronic music being spurned by rock music fans to being the other way around. Yeah. I hate to say it, but you're it's in pretty bad shape. Oh, uh, what's up, Daedalus Muse? Yes. I did. I couldn't remember who recommended this first, but punch it. Might like to pay attention to the music during the boss fights. I'm sure I will. What? No way! You see that? I don't believe it. Our city's backup energy is only supplied to the elites of NSR. That's messed up. First, they rejected. Oh man. Then they denied our rights to rock Yeah, a few people, a few people brought this up, so they can keep couldn't recall exactly who it was. Public? This is wrong. This is an absolute Is this an allegory for something? I hate to say this, but I think you might hmm. something. Finally, hmm. you're making sense. So tell me, Suki, tell me. What are we going to do to someone who messes with the good people of Vinyl City? Oh, we're going to bunk up. We're going to jump. I'm just so up, sick of all these politics in my game. In their faces. Yes! Although, this is SJW trash because I haven't seen her boobs yet. That was a great title card. Looks like DJ Subatomic Supernova is prepping for a performance. Perfect. All right, Zook. This is it. Yeah, or her vagina Maybe bones. Stand up against huh. NSR. <laughs> That's my favorite. Uh, very end, May. What do you propose we do? There are some times when hijack their concert. When when the big gamers let the mask no slip a little bit injustice. and it's time we fight EDM with the power. Vagina of bones is one of my favorites. Music revolution starts right now. Also, she's wearing a tube top, so... Like, I've been waiting for Y2K to wrap back around, and I... Th like, it's happening. It's fully happening. This is very obviously, like, Dreamcast uh, sort of aesthetic. Uh, with the big goopy hands and, like, the, the chonkety hair. But more than that, like, there's there's a dash of, of 70s, which was big in Y2K time. Uh, so he's wearing, like, bell bottoms. She's wearing a tube top and, like, a loose, a loose crop or a loose top. Uh, it's just, like... It's the cyclical nature, I guess, of, of aesthetic and cultural trend. Which is crazy, because this game is about that on a whole other level, about the interchange between rock music and EDM. And Y2K, like the whole era of Y2K, was essentially when electronic music really took off, and rock music never really held it down since then, like it did in the late 90s. Like, everything was rock music. And then it just sort of, woof, faded away. There's still rock bands, don't get me wrong, like that music still exists, but man, it just... Not like that. Not anymore. It's just not the default kind of music. Let's rock a talk. <laughs> yeah, rock was pop. Well said. You can't hop over the velvet rope. What do you think you're doing? Defying every known law of gal of the galaxy. Oh, the transition scenes? Yeah, the wipes. Billions upon billions of organisms reside on this tiny planet. Maybe it'll come back, it might. Each meticulously designed to fulfill their given purpose. Yet you barely reach the cusp of mediocrity. You can't even handle simple satellite launch procedure. <laughs> Kelly Fell, thanks for the sub. Whole year. Rocket science. Thank you. I like his little legs! His little hairy, his little hairy hot dogs. Someone fetch me some fresh Mr. Dodo ice pops. This one's all melted. Great. What else could possibly go wrong today? 
That was a good yelp. <laughs> uh, Commandant, thank you for the sub, by the way. What are you NSR people doing? We're not getting enough electricity, and all you guys do is party! Who are these two? Have they purchased the privilege pass to converse with me? Huh? You don't remember us? Oh, man. Big Junction. That's who we are. If we can have more burns of live events, that'd be great, too. The privilege pass? Jesus. The people of Final City deserve to know what Rock is about. Rock? Fascinating. Hmm, that is fascinating. Your limited aspirations, your misplaced efforts. You remind me of... Pluto. <laughs> Once thought to be a planet of the solar system, but no longer is. What? Pluto? So, what he just said about us was bad, right? Well, being a dwarf planet is not necessarily a bad thing. Your intellect is strikingly shallow, as everyone else is. What I'm saying is that you Plutonians are no longer relevant. Say what? So you think your music is so relevant, is it? Don't you know who I am? I am DJ Subatomic Supernova! Is, does he have like a singularity in his face? Is that why he's Subatomic Supernova? What have you done today, simpletons? Uh, minor Scott Pilgrim vibes here too. Oh, okay. There's that fucking disco hook. I swear to God, man. I'm not lying. This is some Y2K shit. Sorry, it's it's more the uh, like the strings, not necessarily the hook. I got a mash planet now. Oh, that's a neat way to do attacks though. Oh, okay. Is that punk gonna be relevant again? Maybe. Yeah, what have they been up to? Oh, you can break the... Oh, wait. Oh! Okay. I guess every boss fight has its own, like, unique interaction mechanics. Yeah, I agree. Daft Punk can pretty much be relevant whenever they want. Uh, I don't think they're waiting on relevance, really. There's certain artists that, like, they can write chart-topping tunes whenever they want. I imagine once you have enough money, you don't need to do that anymore. Yeah, or you have Daft Punk's royalties, yeah. Maybe Tron 3, you know? Hmm. Maintaining a, uh, a combo timer seems, seems challenging. Ugh. Kinda have to get up pretty bad and I think my legs broke. Make sure that you're spacing out all your attacks. Go on without me. Get yourself out of here while shooting like one hit to keep the combo timer active. Yeah. 
Impossible. 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 Impossible! Just surrender, DJ Broken Record! Silence! You have barely, barely scratched the surface of my brilliance. I am done stooping to your level of idiocy! Hey, come on, man. I understand perfectly what you're trying to do. What? <laughs> or maybe not. We got noodle hands now. Oh. Okay. That's like turntablism. Ow. Ah, okay. Interesting. There's a lot to keep track of, huh? Oh, okay, the planets block that. an eye out for his hands. Jeez! I can't tell what's hitting me. I think he's just swatting me with his hands, but it comes out so fast. Hey! Did, did they recover health if you put, if you like switch away from them? Is that why they have like gray health? Boxes are a bit fucky. All right. Am I, am I just hitting one planet too much? Oh, the planets do not block them. Okay. We have geese inbound. Cool. Thank you for the warning. I will not take a 40 minute break. Unlike my usual streams. Uh, hey, hey, gooses. Welcome. Playing a game about rock music. Uh, hopefully this is not m murdering the old encoder. I think it should be fine, but... You're yeah, not even just rock. With all kinds of stuff all mashed together. It's pretty great so far. Thousands of thousands of planets. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay.
there is only one way to end this. Right you are, Zook! Green light! Green light! I love the idea of reloading instruments. I'm wondering, I wonder why games haven't done that until now. Like May or Zook better? Right now I'm I'm more of a Zooka guy. Just because I like drums better than guitar. And also he seems chill. And Pluto is still relevant! Yeah, hear me! <laughs> What's a Pluto anyway? DJ Subatomic Supernova, come in. What is going on down there? Hehe. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the DJ is currently out of commission. Would you like to leave a message? What? Who do you guys think you... Hold on. I remember you. You're those troublemakers from the Lights Up Edition. Oh, White Rabbit, thank you for gifting a sub. Bed Junction, and we're here to bring back Rock. You can't be serious. You better believe it. We're not stopping till we claim our fate. And bring change to the system. Yeah, that's you. Oh, please. <laughs> this city has had enough of your tyrannical control. It's time we give the people what they want. Stop with the theatrics. You think you're better than me? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The age of rock is over. That's oh. where you're wrong. Jaraxxus, thank you for the uh, thank you for the resub. That the power of rock is stronger than ever. What do you say to that, huh? Persistent piece of. Well, fine. You want to take this road? I say. Pluto is beautiful, and what it's called is irrelevant. And White Knight the shit out of Pluto. It's easy to get emotionally attached to Pluto. And you have no Little guy. Floating all out there, cold and alone. If that's what Tiny you stand for, underdog. then we want no part of your stupid regiment. It's time we fight for fairness. For the people of Vinyl City. We fight for the little guys! Zook, come here. Put your hand next to mine. Huh? Oh, uh, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> Just hold up your pinky finger. Oh, like this? No, put your hand next to mine. No, the other side. Oh, okay. A bit more to the right. No, my right. But I was moving to your right. No, you just... Ah, never mind, move left. Like this? More. Left, 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 left. Yahoo! For the little guys. They get some good humor out of it. Like, a lot of games try visual gags like that and just don't have the comedic timing. But this one does, and I appreciate that. Oh, oh. Too much damage. Yeah, S tier play. Gonna have to try again to get that triple S. Last night, a sabotage at Club Planetarium has resulted in an unexpected change of leadership. The authorities have identified the group behind the interference as. Bump I'll see you, old oak tonight. Have a good day at work. Duo. Thanks for dropping the in. The band was led by a guitarist who goes by the name of Mayday, followed by her drumming accomplice Zook. <laughs> Sources say they hijacked DJ Subatomic Supernova. Zook's not even in frame. Midnight, which subsequently led Zook's got big Luigi energy, big Mike Wazowski energy. I like that. Tatiana I like that quite a bit. Everyone that the launch of the new NSR satellite, supervised by DJ <laughs> Subatomic Supernova went smoothly despite the takeover. The loss of the Karstek district is but a minor setback to NSR. Our launch was deep. What are my thoughts so far? I mean, it, it does so much heavy lifting on the strength of its its writing, its very enthusiastic VO. Um, animation's real solid. Uh, it consistently surprises you with really good timing and pacing. Gameplay-wise, uh, I had a bit of difficulty visually parsing exactly what was causing damage to me and how to dodge it. Um, so it might be a bit style over substance when it comes to the actual combat system. But we'll see. Oh, 
Hey, it does seem like it's a much more gameplay focused version of like Sayonara Wild Hearts. Zook. Zook. Which I didn't I we actually we like all that respect. much. I thought the music in Sayonara Wild Hearts name is Cliff, and was okay. Nice the gameplay it was very boring. It was pretty. Your exceptional uh, skills at playing your instruments while simultaneously was fun. entertaining the crowd is but, uh, absolutely I think this one's Why are you making that act? Quite a bit. He, uh, he wants to arrange a meeting tonight. Quite a bit more gameplay, Zook, interesting at least. Our first as soon as you hit the planets, went shiny. They got a hitbox, and since, nice. since you were close, you got hit. Right ah. Now, we need to figure out our next plan of action. Ah. Like how to defeat NSR. He One of them is spinning them around the stage. You were standing basically in the planets as they gained a hitbox. All right. This guy is our okay. biggest fan, ATM. I propose we see what he has to say. We have nothing to lose, right? I was working for the place where Pluto was first observed, and back in 2015. Yeah, sure. Why not? We got the first high-def images, got to see its dragon scales and its big heart saying hi. That's a good point. I forgot that it has a big old heart. So, how did he get your all the uh, All the fan art of Pluto with a big heart was very cute. That was very cute also. <laughs> Just going to wait on that plot point. Just going to let that hang there. All right, then. Okay. <laughs> Festival Plaza. All right. Let's go see what this guy is about. It's the, the animation does a lot, too, but really, like, the comedic timing in this game is very good. Um, that's one of the issues I have with most games that, like, have comedy in them, is the comedy can be well-written, and it can be even performed well. But most games suck at comedic timing, um, and it's very important in a video game that's interactive, uh, to not let players interrupt your timing, or really to not just biff the timing in the first place. But yeah, there's a lot of humor baked into the animations for sure. them unpacking. Pausing for the joke to breathe adds a lot. It does, but also, like, what I see a lot of is, like, uh... Oh, you get to move and then shoot? Ah. I see a lot of, uh... I see a lot of games that are terrified that you won't get the joke. Uh, so they say it, and then they say it again, and then they rub your face in it. I get very tired of that kind of thing. That's a very Borderlands kind of humor. Of, like, any possible subtlety getting erased, because all the characters are shouting at max volume all the time with the most direct jokes they can possibly make. Yeah, yeah. Play jazz punk. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe not. Uh, I'm trying to remember that game. How do you know where they're gonna move? They just go back and forth. Yeah, I guess so. Jazz Punk is like a two-hour game? Okay. Oh, little Frankie. Oh. You death. Let me see. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It seems like something I would have tried. I think I played this for like five minutes. Yes, I definitely tried this. I tried it the year it came out, but I didn't play through the whole thing. Probably thumbsick. It's just two hours of dumb jokes. Shoot, I should just go back and finish then. I had no idea it was so short. Ah. I got a persona style overworld. Whoa! Ooh, 
You too! Your usual to go? Yes, and more sugar for me. No sugar for mine, please. Hmm. I did not expect there to be a like an open world level in this game. Hey, he is a very cool guy. Rock stars. I saw the audition. You put out some great vibes. Can't believe you got disqualified. Neither can I. We obviously rocked it. Come, sit down for a drink or two. My treat. Thanks for the offer, but we've got some place to go. Another time then, rock stars. Hmm. Ah. Guess I don't have a workshop yet. Yeah. Dang it. Nah. Hmm. Maybe jumps don't work that way. Maybe I need some kind of ability. Maybe. Yeah, blue blue dreadlocks are a pretty cool look, huh? I like his shirt. It's got like a keyhole cut out, but it's kind of stitched at the top. I do like how everyone in this game dresses to their skin tone, whether it's like blue or orange or red. Not your standard standard toilet orbs. His cane is two drumsticks put together. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Oh, that's that's a cool way of uh, labeling it, I guess. God, this overworld really just does have just does have big like Sega two thousand one energy. Ah. Okay. All right. So you got to explore to find the little bits to get rewards. That works for me. Open world exploration justified. Uh, how do you make fingerless gloves look cool in real life? Man, if I knew the answer to that, I'd be wearing them non-stop. Will early 2000s Sega -like games make a comeback? I think you're looking at it. I don't know that it'll ever permeate like the zeit zeitgeist in the way that it did. But I do think that there's enough people who grew, who like came of age in the 2000s, who remember that that very specific vibe, and uh, will seek to recreate it. There was another game called Cross Inc. that was very explicitly a Y2K a Y2K styled uh, puzzle game. Hold on a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it now. For the uh, for the very reason of just like, hold on a second. Trying to uh, to to validate like this this is an aesthetic I've been waiting to come back, and I, I think it's it's starting to pop up in various ways. But like just the UI, you can you can see is just like super Y two K, which itself was like neo seventies. Um, the character design, the logo design, the color the color gradients like big, big angled and rounded uh, interactable elements. It's like it was easy for uh, graphics design to do curves, <laughs> so everything was curves. It was curves and Neo 70s stuff. And just like uh, random random geometric patterns, but very minimal too. Uh, we went away from the gradients of like the mid 90s because again, like Photoshop made it easy to do gradients back to like more flat design. We're, we're kind of heavy in flat design now. A lot of logos are very flat, um, two dimensional. Who knows what that's all about. But yeah. Oh, we're getting in a weird place now. Retro future? Y yeah. There's there's a retro future vibe from the 70s. Stuff like um, like Logan's Run and, and things like that. Wearing like... Wearing full body silver jumpsuits and stuff. What's weird is the retro future of the 70s is kind of an update of the retro future from the 50s. Um, 
It's just these things go on cycles, and each each new iteration of it kind of borrows a little bit from the past. Yeah, the world ends with you. It was a hundred percent a a Y two K looking game. Um, and, and that's the kind of game that I think has been gone and for long enough now that people probably have some uh, nostalgia baked into it and ready to ready to come back. Does Futurama count as retro future? I would, yeah, absolutely. To me, Futura Futurama is the definition of retro future. The World Ends With You is a very good game. I guess I can't climb ladders yet. Oh, wow. Oh my god! It's a little shrimp lady! Telling me to eat shellfish snacks. I would eat the fuck out of a bag of shellfish product. Oh my god. Absolutely wonderful. Uh... Me snack? Shrimp fries are the best. Shrimp chips? Yeah. There was this Vietnamese place I used to order from. The banh mi was a little a little gussied up for my taste, but it, it was fine. Uh, but they would basically do a combo that was like a banh mi and then a handful of shrimp chips. And it was so good. Uh, I miss that place. Unfortunately, also, their Vietnamese coffee left a little bit to be desired. They would batch brew it in like a... You know, like a tall carafe thing, and then just pour it over ice. Didn't quite hit the same. Didn't have that punch. Oh no. Excuse me. She's been accosted by. Mayday and Sook. By May a few times already. What are you two doing here? Get out! That's not the welcome. Oh, wheat thins having a sweetness to them. Dilthomoy is crazy. Wheat thins are pretty sweet. Most American snacks have a lot of sugar in them. Most American food is just sweeter in general. But yeah, wheat thins are wheat thins are on the sweeter side for sure. If you want something that's more just like pure wheat and salt, that's like more of a triscuit. But yeah, wheat thins are definitely sweet. I think most people, especially if they, you know, grow up in America and grow up eating American food, don't really detect the sweetness in what they eat. Uh just basic bread in America is alarmingly sweet. That's why I'm kind of like, yeah, red turtle, exactly. Once you have real bread, you're like, what is this, like, what is this dessert trash I've been eating my entire life? I, uh, that's one of the other things of, like, if you ever go to, like, an, an American amusement park or, or something like that, everything you buy is so sugary. It's gross. Um, that was one of the cooler parts about going to a place like Japan is at the, um, oops. <laughs> Everywhere I went, like, the, uh, the, the touristy food wasn't just laced with sugar. Um, the exception being the Capcom bar, of all things. Everything there was just hyper, hyper sweet. Can you hit the box? Uh, you cannot. You cannot attack in, in this this overworld. You can't do this though. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I want savory snacks. Man, me too. I like uh, dried nori. is really good. Um, dried squid is really really good. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's when I started cooking my own shit. I haven't eaten fast food or pre-made shit in years now. Yeah, if you go back, man, if, if you approach fast food with, like, an adjusted palate, it's a wild ride. It's uh, it's still enjoyable to some degree because so much work goes into manufacturing that flavor and that mouthfeel. Um, but yeah, just like, like McDonald's bread is so sugary. Um, and it's weird to eat a burger with that much sugar on it. Their ketchup is really, really sweet, too. It's still a really, you know, it's still delicious, but... After making your own burgers and not just pouring sugar all over everything. Yeah. Engineered to fuck flavor profiles. I mean, they work because, you know, the industry's top food chemists are what work on that stuff. But Can people do soda after years or not? Ugh, no. I, I don't ever want to drink a full flavored... S I can drink cane sugar coke. That's like the only thing 
that is still still really good. But corn syrup has such a, a gross aftertaste now. I really don't like it. Um, it like it just makes this weird sourness build up in my mouth. It's like bitter aftertaste that is just really obvious. Yeah, wombat. Yeah, there's there's definitely a, a chemically twinge in the aftertaste of corn syrup. Which actually, now I, now that I've been cooking for myself a lot more, I kind of taste that on everything that has a lot of corn syrup in it. Um, but I I mean, I think the sweeteners they use in Coke Zero are... I prefer it to sugar. Well, mm, that's a little much. I mean, I love sugar, don't get me wrong. Every, every living human does. But I, I definitely prefer it to corn syrup. And I prefer it to uh, aspartame, for sure. Gross. Like cold diet soda when I'm getting high really helps my throat. Yeah, that's and like the the intensity, the flavor just kicks you in the mouth. Having a really crisp Coke Zero, mm, good stuff. Or diet Dr Pepper. Diet Dr Pepper is probably the the sharpest, harshest like diet soda, and I really like it for that. Coke Zero in Japan tasted way nicer than Coke Zero in Australia for some reason. Huh. I mean, it may have to do with where it's bottled. I don't know. Also, I know that like ah. Oh, this dude looks cool. I know that, uh... Greetings, Mayday and Zook. Sodas will also tune their flavors to the respective palates of the nations they're, they're selling it at, I'm pretty sure. Oh! I almost didn't recognize you. You're <laughs> you get with sodas just the carbonation? Ah, uh, not for me. Hello. Sparkling water does not hit like a Coke Zero well, does, not for me. I meet you both in person. A real pleasure! Pleasure's ours, Cliff. I'm a oh. huge... Bubbles help me scrub, scrub me clean too. I vape and or some of it condenses on the way down the hatch. That's basically oil particles, so they stick around just wanted to let and you burn my baby lungs in the throat. The DJ oh, I had no idea. Cool. I'm all for what you're doing. Uh, Nova Sauce Wumbo, thanks for the prime sub. Overdue. Oh, Robert, thank you for the, the prime. I knew we weren't the only ones who felt this way. Definitely not. Hmm. In I'm gonna assume Lewis, but I know nine is not an S, so thank you for the prime. You might have to help me out Speaking with pronouncing, which, pronouncing your name. Didn't you pick up something after defeating DJ Subatomic Supernova? You mean food is being ruined this? for me because after cooking for myself so much, I taste yeah. other additive shit in yes. everything. Can't eat fast food to prepackaged food anymore. Every That's not necessarily a bad thing. Has one. I think if um, I mean, don't let me lecture you about you know what you want to eat or how you how you feel about it, but. I would guess if you give it enough time, you'll stop comparing how it tastes now to how you remember it tasting. And then once enough years go by of just not eating it at all, and then you go back and like buy a bag of chips or something, then you can be like, oh, you know, this is less like I remembered, but you can kind of approach it with more of a clean slate. That doesn't mean you're going to like it. But for me now, if I eat packaged food, it's more of like appreciating, I guess, all of the science that went into it. Like... Appreciating that it is a thoroughly crafted eating experience as opposed to genuinely enjoying it, I guess. I still genuinely enjoy Doritos and stuff like that, but but in no way does does a nacho cheese Dorito taste like cheese. Oh, okay. We can do this? Oh, that's already happened? Oh, okay. Then yeah, if you're if you're not into it. Congratulations. That's kind of a good you thing. You now own this district. Did you get to save money? Now all you have to do is hijack the other concerts. Other concerts? In the other districts. By doing so, you can gain the power to control them as well. You want a free vinyl city from NSR, right? Of course. Then you need to beat like the that drum, NSR that drum beat back there. and take over their districts. Doing so will significantly weaken NSR's control over the city. Remember, once you've obtained a platinum disc, just head towards the next dock. Got it. All right. That's all I have for now. Meet me here again if you require my future assistance. Here? You've done so much for us, Cliff. Come to our secret underground path. Yeah, you're always welcome to hang out with us there. Really now? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. You made a guard dog character? Right, though. Sure. Don't worry. I know where it is. Magic Fish, are you modeling or something? Uh, okay. 
Isn't this a great start, Zook? We're not alone in this. We have allies now. Oh. Yeah, and uh, in addition to uh In addition to trying to make sure I do ring fit every day this week, I'm also really steadfast, kind of keeping myself on 1,500 calories. Maybe this is maybe this is the like TikTok I need to do. I need to give myself a big blowout calorie day so that I feel guilty about it, and then take that into like a week and a half or two weeks of steady dieting. Get sick of that, another blowout day. I just got to find the right balance. I think of of allowing myself to uh, to splurge. But splurge in a way that doesn't completely undo all the work that I build up, or all the calorie deficit I build up. Yeah, well, that that's been my issue. I uh, I'll I'll like on my blowout day I'll have like two fast food meals and like two beers or something like that, and that's that's kind of enough sort of to undo undo it all. is beyond ordinary human understanding. Our tiny planetary home is lost somewhere between well, thank you, Rusty. and eternity. Thank you for the resub. Ocean. No, Fair King, I... Yeah, calculated guilt, exactly. That just little dash of negative reinforcement. It is so few calories, but it's actually not that bad. Uh, if I eat enough vegetables, I usually don't feel like I'm starving or anything. I can get through the day. Yeah, Wombat, well, that has been working for me, too. Find games you really fucking love and zone in on them so hard you forget to eat? Yeah. Me, we shall discover new when I was at 190, cutting down to 165, we started with 2,100 calories? Did that work? That concludes my talk for today. Man. Thank you, all three of you, for showing interest in the never-ending pursuit of knowledge. Your curiosity yeah. is appreciated. Oh, and... Thank you too. Superhuman Mancini, Guy that's... Stands by the door. At 1500, I can't have any of those calories be non-nutritious calories. There's no room for it. I shall... see you later. Whatever. <laughs> K-Cal or American Cal's? K, uh, American calories. I don't remember the difference. K-Cal's are way higher, right? That's too low for K-Cal. No, it's not private. I've been doing it before. Um... Before you go, it would be an honor for me to brief you on your next fight. May I? It's pretty sustainable. I'd love to hear your intel, Cliff. Okay, Cal and Cal are the same. I don't think they are actually. Akusaka will be your next. I had to, cause I had to translate it when I got. With the digital space. I like ordered some snacks from Japan and had to translate from Kcal to calories. Wait, that photo! I've seen her on the billboards with her squeaky voice and music. Ah, the digital idol. So he's very really cute, though. The younger kids. Did you say... 1,000 calories equals 1k so calories equals 1 calorie. Deal? And she's topping charts? NSR signs on anyone who has the fame... That is not the way that I've seen KCal used. But you two can make a difference. But that doesn't mean that... Just to be clear... You're incorrect. It's like... Character, right? I had snacks that were labeled like 230 KCal. So K does not mean kilo. <laughs> Uh, hold on. We'll we'll get to the bottom of this. Damn it, it's in the middle of dialogue. Every creation. No, there's no way to pause the dialogue. I mean, yeah, a kilo calorie is Take one calorie, but head to Akusaka when you're ready. They'll get you to where Sayu is. I guess it does stand for kilo calories. It's not constrained by real world logic. So be prepared for anything. Then what are American calories? Alrighty. Good luck. Okay, hold on a minute. Because like... Alright, here we go. The capital letter and... Oh, oh! Okay. So there's calorie and then there's capital C calorie. So an American capital C calorie is 1K Cal. All right. 1K calorie or 1,000 calories Cal. By convention of food science, the large calorie is commonly called calorie with a capital C. Uh, in most countries, labels of industrialized food products are required to indicate the neutral. Uh, kilo or large calories per serving or weight. 
Okay. I guess somehow calorie is the one metric unit of measurement that America will allow. Um, hmm. Okay. All right. This makes this makes more sense then. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the uh, the difference between like megabytes and megabits when it comes to network traffic or uh like the what is it uh capital mb versus lowercase mb when it comes to megabits or megabytes yeah it was it was crazy because for a long time in like at&t commercials they kept saying oh you get 300 megs down and i'm like you can't say that that is lying uh because it's megabits and that's not a meg uh and they eventually actually changed it there was a there was some network uh commercial I heard recently that actually said like 80 megabits and I was like, ah, maybe there was a class action suit. <laughs> bits bytes is dumb too. Yeah, it is. I don't know why network speed is always in bits um, and storage is always in bytes. I, help I remember hearing the answer once. It is eight bits in a byte. Yes. yes. Um, Fira, this is always my favorite, one. my favorite nerd bullshit. 8 bits is a byte, 4 bits is a nibble, and 2 bits is a chomp. <laughs> because nerds are nerds. Octets versus binary? Oh, is all network traffic in binary? Why are they called bits and bytes? Because... Yes, I'm serious. Because nerds are dorks, and they like naming things stupid ways. You would have been old enough to see them during their prime. Were you in Vinyl City back then? Yeah, I guess they were hungry when they were naming it or something. Please tell me you went to their gigs. Huh. I did. <laughs> if you rotate the stick, you get little tippity taps. That's interesting. You got to see the ghoulings live. I'm so jelly. So jelly. Tell me, what was Cool Fire like? What was yeah, she two like? bytes is a word. Well, <laughs> most of the time. The jeans. Uh, She's got a word is actually like the natural word length of a computer depends on the processor. The spunk. She had them all. That girl was rocking it, I tell you. Shook the stage like she absolutely owned it. She didn't need to change. She was flawless. <laughs> oh, Cliff, you're my new favorite guy. Such a shame that the ghoulings got disbanded and. Cool Fira faded into obscurity shortly after. She There's an asteroid called Didymos. It has a moon, and they she initially named it Diddy Moon as a joke, and it has stuck Chris? since. That's where you come in. So you selecting you options during dialogue? Back then. Now we need oh, is that a bug? To bring that same energy to our fight. Oh, that's the plan, young lady. We're gonna smack Tatiana to the side and yeah, he's kind of over there. Legacy uh, once why is he down there? And then also, oh, whatever. Yes! Yeah, Red Turtle, I agree. The the voice act. Yeah, you're right. It is that. Um, the voice acting in this game is really, really good. And this is the kind of voice acting that that again, Borderlands Three could get really annoying <laughs> without the right kind of like genuine gusto. And you think I'll see Beyond Good and Evil Two? Man, I have no idea. Michelle Ancel is gone now, so I could I could see after what ten years of being in development hell that Ubisoft would just quietly let that game go. I know they said specifically like no, this game is real. Um, but that's what you say when a, a game director leaves, and then you just quietly let it go. Um, Pet alligator? He's got like little musical keys on his back. Ah, okay. Jesus. This menu is so cool. Ugh. 
Oh, Commandant. Um, unfortunately, I have gone through that like two or three times already today, so I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid um, reiterating re, uh, myself too much. New command? No. That's just life. Is that a Game Boy cartridge? I guess I can't take it out, but it looks like it. Yeah, why is... The hammering's slightly out of tune with the backtrack, which is a little bit of a weird bummer, but... Whoa, what? Oh, you can, like, play? Ah, okay. Use up your fan power. Interesting. Oh my gosh. I mean, double jump's pretty important. Are little guitar picks. All right. Yeah, I'll finally be able to get that stuff in double jumping. Maybe calorie is like a vector where there's a different meaning depending whether you're talking math, science, physics, or aviation. I mean, calorie is is just the measurement of energy required to what is it? change one cubic centimeter of water one degree something like that that's a pretty universal measurement right um i don't know i may have missed your i missed your uh i missed your uh, mental breakdown calories of chemistry unit i mean it's it's a lot of it's a lot of units oh we're playing to a long debate all right my bad <laughs> that's a jewel uh okay and it caused the whole thing all right all right I'll, <laughs> never mind. I'll, uh, I will stay out of it. Oh, one gram of water, one degree at STP. Yeah. One, if there's one thing I've learned, uh, in addition to being this person, that often, often people walk around with huge banks of knowledge and expertise in their heads. And often they don't get the they don't get any chance to use that anytime ever. Uh, so if it ever like if that opportunity ever comes up, that's what they've been waiting for. So, uh, so I uh, I understand the dynamic of like all the all the chemists, engineers, and, and professionals in chat that work with calories on a daily basis, <laughs> sharing their perspective uh, of sharing their relative perspectives on that. Could I get a coffee refill, please? Wait. His name is Asthma? Later? Hmm. Sorry. Damn it. I want coffee. My coffee grinder broke today. Bullshit. Uh, like the the engine, uh, the little motor wasn't just turning anymore. It just burnt and it wouldn't turn. I went in there and like turned it manually and it was pretty sticky. And I'm like, well, shit, man. I can spray this down with WD-40 and then grind my coffee in it. What brand? It was a Krups. Like a really cheap one. So, I've been using it for years, so it's it's time for it to go. I thought about trying to take it apart and fix it, but it was like... That's not really worth it. Oh, did you get one of those, like, burr grinders? I don't really... I don't really need one of those? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. You're here to escape from an old broken demo disc? Fix stream? What? What? What's wrong with it? Next trip boss track is absolutely top tier. Ooh. <laughs> I'm excited to, uh... No, a fixed stream. Where's my sub hype for two years? Austin? Yeah, sorry about that. I was in the middle of it. Also played Dagon Ron, probably even if it takes another two years. 
That'll be your that'll be your hype, Austin, one of these days. Someday I'll play Dagon Ronpa again just for you. <laughs> Thank you for the two years of subs though, man. That's a very long time. Oh I appreciate it. It's been some we've had some good game good gaming times. Oh yeah, it's like singing the magic word on Pee Wee Herman with some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't I've never never once thought about it like a bad thing. It's it's fun to sort of like that only happens because people are kind of pent up, I think, sometimes. They spend all day kind of wishing that they could share this thing about their lives with other people. Oh, okay. Let's just respawn. Go to that gate. Level signs mean you can transform them with Y. Ah. I will. I will. But first I want to poke around a bit and see what else I can get up to with my double jump. Get me some more fans. Oh. Uh -huh. I guess I need some superpower to climb ladders. Or just or just that. That works for me. <laughs> that dinosaur is loving that video game. Good for him. This game looks like a 360 launch title. Yeah. To me, this looks way more like a Dreamcast game to me. Like I just I can't not see the Dreamcast all over this game. Man, the the 360 would have been a lot sweeter of a console if it launched with this. Uh, instead I was just playing frickin' uh, Geometry Wars for hours and hours. Geometry Wars and Fight Night is basically it. Geometry Wars is pretty sick, though. Happened to Geometry Wars? They made a couple of follow-up games. Geometry Wars 3 was really good. Super, super, really good. Um, and then they just kind of put it down, I guess, because it didn't have the sales... the sales, uh... vitality. We're gonna play into the Gungeon on stream. Ah, Chum, thank you for... I'm glad you're back. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I did see your donation, finally. Thank you for the six six ninety. Nice. Uh, and yes! I, already, I, I did play it a little bit a while ago, but yeah, I need to get back into it. Enter the Gungeon would be a fun uh, roguelike to eventually beat. Does does Enter the Gungeon have like a nice cutoff, or is it just like you beat it once and then suddenly there's another harder boss one stage after? Like Binding of Isaac style, you know? That game had like 18 different endings. Oh yeah, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk looks very cool. Or Bomb Rush Cyber Funk, excuse me. I still haven't played Hover though, so I'm I'm somewhat of a fake fan. Uh, Secret Gungeon bosses are rad. No more spoils though. Okay. There's an ending and it's cool. All right, all right. That's kind of what I. Oh, I see. I see. I get it. All right. to Kura Kura Stream Hub. Alrighty. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. That's the uh, the mod that I got. I played Shapes and Beats. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I managed to cram that into a Funhouse Drunk gameplay, but I don't think anything happened with the footage. Hmm. No, I like that game a lot. And it has the Mortal Kombat theme in it, so... It's already the best game. Transform music changes according to the boss fight you're at, so you just hold it down, it should be to the song. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm guessing it's this way. Yeah, I kinda miss I'm kinda miss drum game place too, but I uh enough time goes by and this whole corona thing blows over. Get back to making those. Oh, 
Thank you, Ajax. Yeah, I, uh, that's kind of how I always viewed it, is like... I may not be a fan favorite, but at least I can, uh, I can try extra hard to, like, create a, uh, a video format. Or, uh, or bring, like, props or gimmicks into the video shoot that'll make up for it. Um... Yeah, they also can't work with my diet, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, now, Drunk Game Please Now would be like maximum of seven to eight shots, I think, unlike, unlike the past. Oh yeah, Halacious, I think, I think I've, I've worked my way up since then, but... I mean, the numbers, the numbers don't lie, it was, and, and nor do YouTube comments, I was, I was not the, uh... Not the cool guy in that group. Oh, pot can if you can resist the munches after. Yeah, the technique that I inherited. Look at this robot. Oh, he's got little pinchy hands. I love robots with clamp clamp hands. Ah! Also, like when they run, they like have to run to their spot on screen to become their character art. That was really cute. Oh, chum! Thanks for gifting a sub. Oh yeah, I definitely follow Hideki Naganuma. He's he's a delightful shit poster. Excellent meme lord. Yeah. It's a good day when uh, Naganima's posting about uh, Family Guy on Twitter. I guess we're going down there. All right. Hades does, in fact, have a fishing minigame. Thank God. That means it is officially a good video game. That was close. Hades was almost not good. Huh. Yeah, I guess I guess if they're representing Kit or Rock, they would be uh, supportive of Kiss, which is a uh, a bit disappointing. Hmm. Did I stream the Mario 3D Collection? Sort of. Um, I streamed a modded version of Sunshine. Aww. Man, that modded version of Sunshine is so solid. I love playing that. You probably know me then. Thank you, Manly Dan. I'm Reptex. Hmm, the name does ring a bell. And you are? We're Bunk Bit Junction, Mayday and Zook, an indie rock band. Ah, budding musicians. Okay, right. Good to meet you, I guess. Also, I feel like it's been a, it's been a while since I've like picked up glowing things in a video game. It feels nice. Hell yeah, picking up glowing bits. It just ends there. I mean, for now, probably. I'll probably get more dialogue with them later, maybe. Oh, we got... We got some shade getting thrown. What sort of business runs itself on the idea of selling people things on the off chance you get what you want? Ooh. Uh... Talking shit on loot boxes. God, I gotta, I gotta go back to Shenmue 3 so I can spend hours buying capsule toys. 
ED Mart. Man, I would go shop at EDM Mart. That's some like CD Project Red level shade. Wait. She sells ISPs as well? Do you get different dialogue based on who's observing? Oh, you do. That's pretty cool. Man, time consuming. Had to write two different bits of dialogue for every little interactable in the environment? Interesting way to do a reflection. Is Shenmue too real? I'm serious. I think it's more of a coll like collective delusion is what I would call Shenmue 2. I don't know that any I don't know that science has yet to prove if Shenmue 2 exists or not. Hello, Timmy. Remember, Timmy is the name. Quasa's the game. So, you're a Quasa doctor? We use the word technician, but I suppose our duties are somewhat similar. Cool. Remember how cool. Solid solved the city's energy problem? In the past, there used to be only a Man. single representative, a single charter, who performed music <laughs> to the Grand Quasa. It was All right, let's go. Remember owning Shenmue 2 on the OG Xbox? But I also can't find my copy anymore, so maybe it doesn't exist. Yeah, I remember importing Shenmue 2 from Europe because the UK version of Shenmue 2 uh, was in English. And it also came with a like a PAL to NTSC adapter. But then again, maybe none of that happened. Uh, I may have dreamed it all. Which sounds about, about, sounds more likely at this point now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, cool. Oh, there's stages. Dang it. There goes that triple S. Hear me out, Shenmue, but more anime titties? Well, you're just talking about... You, sir, are talking about uh, Yakuza. Uh, shh. I did it. I managed to fall off. I'm gonna play Yakuza 0 until I get to the sexy phone calls at least. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually tackle the Yakuza series. Uh, I played I played a good grip of them. I haven't finished any of them though. That is the perfect stream game. And that game, man, that game ratchets up pretty pretty bad when you're playing on hard. There's some real interesting boss fights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this 
Fisher quill pens? You're right. Or like fountain pens? What's up, Jet McCartney? How are you doing? Oh, is this why you want to switch characters too? So you can build up their like power meters individually? I really love that drum, that drum fill when you break through a door. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, I'm doing good. Been a, been a pretty bit, good couple of days so far. So far this week, like we barely started, and it's already been pretty good. Oh, I didn't see them. Oops. Too late, Picross. Didn't get those secrets. Secrets are gone forever now. Ah! Bethesda is owned by Microsoft. How does that work? Simple. Yeah. You just summarize it. Bethesda is now owned by Microsoft. Microsoft paid an ass load of money, and now they own them. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool, though, because that means that, like, imagine, like, I mean, this may already be the case, but like, imagine, imagine Morrowind is now going to launch with the Series S, Series X, running at 4K or something. Like, that is not out of the realm of possibility. Maybe not at launch, but and with like X Cloud streaming, you'll be able to play Bethesda's entire library streaming to your phone and stuff like that. No mods, though. Well, you know. You can buy a PC, I guess. Fallout 4 has the mods. Why isn't his meter building up at all? Oh, it was. It was full. All right. It looked like it was empty because it was blue. Do all their properties become Microsoft exclusives? Uh... Pretty much, yeah. Huh. Yes. I mean, I don't, I don't think Microsoft is going to retroactively delist them on other platforms. They seem pretty uh, chill about that stuff. But certainly, I think any properties or games they develop going forward are going to be Xbox brand exclusives, which means PC and Xbox platforms. Yeah. That's why you buy developers, so you can own them. Yeah, everybody just immediately goes to New Vegas, too, which I guess I get why. Um, which is, I don't know. F Wasteland 3 is right there. It's not called Fallout, but Wasteland 3 is right there. More win 76. Oh, I missed a hot dog. Ah. Um, yeah, and also there's Outer Worlds. Uh. Wasteland 3 is an isometric turn-based game, not an FPS. Huh. All in Outer Worlds. Jeez. Like, 
Do you guys remember that Fallout had vats? That was that was their like half step. I mean, I guess Fallout 4 is just an FPS now, which is why it sucks. Yeah, yeah I guess I guess people you can't really get around first person shooting, huh? Wow, what a dreamy place! Oh my! Welcome, friends. Are you here to receive the sweet honey bubbles of my angelic voice? What? Sweet honey bubbles? <laughs> No way! Pray We're was here to real bring good. Rock back to Vinyl City and wait, this is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm talking to this thing. Yeah, shrimp lady. She's not even real. Pray two would be pretty cool. Don't say I gotta get back to playing. Man, when it comes to roguelikes, this district. Pray Moon Crash is so good, you guys. Oh. <laughs> you mean real? <laughs> Look at her, Zook. She's not real. <gasps> oh, don't say but that. I am real. As real as your love for each other. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 hold on. I can see it in your eyes. Your hearts are pounding like the beating drums of the ocean. Bubba, Bubba. Bubba? It means follow your heart, Zoo. I, but uh, there are many factors to consider, so I. Hey, 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 hey. We're here to fight, all right? Zoo, snap out of it. And you, you're still not real. Let's talk more rock. Wow. This is another character that could feel really bad. But they actually, like, kind of nailed the vibe of, of VTubers and shit. Of Miku's. Non-stop spouting of meaningless inspirational pew, phrases. Pew, 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 pew. Oh my god. This is so amazing. I didn't think video games would be on this wavelength for a while. She's like a Megazord? She is, dude! They like cut back to the, the, the art team like redrawing her and stuff. Holy shit, man. Wait, can I pick those up? No, okay. I thought those might be the notes that I could shoot. God, this music sounds so much like a Tetsuya Mizuguchi game. This is very big, like, Res Child of Eden sort of orchestration. Because you can tell it's like, it's like a solid loop with really good samples poking in. So it can be sequenced and like you can have other stems slot into it. <laughs> it's got a katana at his computer. Oh, oh, oh! He's he's the choreographer. Yeah, he was wearing a mocap suit. Uh, Degalian, thank you for continuing your sub. Hitting it? Ow. One's music, one's running. Oh yeah, her, her trident is a USB stick? Wait, 
I'm getting combo for this, but I don't know how much that matters. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I don't Model kit? Yes, sir. Oh no, okay, there we go. It was breaking. Yeah, I think your techs are build kits. This game anti EDM? No. I don't this game is I don't know that I don't get the vibe that this game is taking much of a stance. It's just a, it's an amusing story to tell in the context of uh, music culture. Well, it's just a fun premise. Is it single player? Yeah. It's co-op as well. I don't know if it can be online co-op, but... Hmm? <laughs> That's wearing his... <laughs> oh, umbrella hat. <laughs> yeah. Flamadeus. Good point. If it were taking a stab at EDM, it'd make the music not good. There wouldn't be as much effort put into the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's I think it's a hugely reductive to say that this this game is flatly supporting one genre over another. I think, if anything, it's just more like too much of any one thing is bad. It's more, I think, arguing in favor of uh, a variety than ubiquity. Oh wow. It's like some mix of, of like sugar skull plus circuitry. Oh my god, this is the Oh, they all have their glow sticks? Of course. It is it is for real a, a Miku concert now. Oh boy. I saw the mouse cursor dancing around a little bit too. Huh. I'm not sure exactly what I'm getting hit with sometimes. What is this? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Is this the shield thing? God damn it! How are you supposed to know what that is before you get there? The mouse cursor hit you? He's trying to edit you out of the program. Shit. Yeah, there's just a lot going on. Not necessarily a bad thing, but like, they're, they're using inconsistent indicators for where damage comes from. Shit. Like the the fountain pens, I just get hit with. Maybe or maybe not. I guess I dodged at that time. But. I'm like, okay. Let's see the timing now.
Okay, I deserve that one. Oh, they recover up to their max health when they're not being used. Okay. Them? Maybe, yeah. Well, it seems like it. I guess I just never tried that. Fuck, man. God. Like, they start throwing so many attacks at you that you just feel like, whatever, I'll just, I'll just eat all the damage and attack through it. Ah! <laughs> They're going backwards at oh maybe not. Oi. Uh. You can't like jump cancel out of your attack. Which means like you you always want to try to get in one more attack before the the beat lands, and yeah, I keep thinking I can just like jump cancel out of my attack and dodge, but that is not how that works. All right, all right. All the lyrics are ocean pans. Oh man, I wasn't even paying attention. energized now. And one more time. There it goes. Solid USB joke. The inverted mermaid. What is this? Yeah, always the third try. Whoa. Uh. 
What? How am I countering that? It's not purple. Maybe I wasn't countering that at all. Ow. God. Uh. Hit by one, you get hit by all of them. Oh my god! Those little fountain pens are real annoying. They also change the timing of them. So, uh, they attack a lot faster than they used to. Arrgh! And if you get hit by one, you get hit by the rest of them. Because you get stunned. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. Jesus, right away. Like the camera's a little too close. You can get hit by stuff off camera and not really know it. Or not really know that it's there. Oh, it's going chiptune now. Which is the other kind of music that, uh... VTubers make. I guess calling them VTubers. Like, Vocaloid. That's the word. God. So much work to just get three hits. There's only one way to end this. Okay, okay, let's just get rid of this thing. Ring light. It's such good audio design, man. <laughs> and a big fishbowl back there. That lazy thumbs up. I don't know, man. That was a real solid USB joke. <laughs> and if if it were something like Borderlands, it'd just be it'd just be a postage stamp in the upper left of somebody going, Why is it when you plug in a USB plug, it happens three times? Just screaming. Always screaming. Big junction on the bridge! <laughs> oh, the USB joke? She had her trident was a USB. She stabbed it into the ground. It didn't fit. She flipped it around. Still didn't fit. Flipped it around again. Then it went in. The characters, yeah, would be USB Johnson or something like that, yeah. You guys are quite a talented bunch, but there are bigger things at play here. Why O shouldn't get involved. O E S. The first name would be U S, and the last name would be B E E. Don't ever turn Sayu into that thing again. Come on, May. The principle of USB superposition, yeah. Sayunara. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, PK, thank you for the sub. Is Yakuza Zero the one where you fist fight a tiger? Uh, I didn't get that far. Uh oh. Why? I like how the meters go down. I took. Oh, I'm not gonna get that S rank this time. Ooh. 
taking all that damage. I don't know, man. You kind of you got to know what you're doing to to get through and uh, not not eat all that damage, huh? Oh, it's Kiwami too. Okay. Uh, Gaigaru, thank you for the sub. Jojo Power Rangers, thanks for the sub. Thank you guys. Ooh. Yeah, you can replay. I like certainly now I have techniques to dodge some of those attacks. Some other ones I don't even know. You just have to got to be very uh careful, I guess. Junction has hijacked yet another concert. Even the cute and bubbly Sayu was not spared from their plan for total dominance. We managed to get hold of these two elusive rockers while they were cowardly fleeing from the scene at Akusuka last night. Mayday, Zook, why are you hijacking NSR's concerts? Huh? Wait, are you guys from the news? Am I on TV right now? Yes, a lot of people are distressed by your reckless behaviors. Do you have any remorse for your actions? Wow, I am on TV! Bye! Great! You owe me a TV, Tatiana. I don't even know why you put your TV in my office in the first place. Anyway, we need to fix this right now. Bring me the Horn of Mending. The Horn of Mending? Please do not tell me you are thinking of asking for that guy's assistance. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. We'll lose more than just a district if we don't act immediately. Now bring it... Yeah. Why did you bring your TV into my office anyway? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's good stuff. That character design is wild. Oh, I want to see more of her. She keeps like flying out of frame. Reminds me of like Gil from Street Fighter. Alama, aku kena serula. DK West on the way. Yeah. DK. Donkey Kong. Nice to see you too, I don't know who do. Summer. And hello, miss. Aku masih ingat lagi dirimu. I am going to check if the editors downstairs need my input. Jumpa lagi, cik adik. Gross. <laughs> All right. Aku sini. Kau boleh mula bila-bila masa. Sounds a bit like Simlish. I take it you're unaware of the events that have transpired within Vinyl City in the past few days? <laughs> tak tahu, tak kisah. I thought so. A band called Bunk Bed Junction has been slowly claiming our districts. They're now moving up to... Chup! Tatiana, si manis. Aku bukan kat sini nak celote pasal politik Vinyl City, okey? Aku sini nak dengar kau minta maaf. <laughs> Come on, I don't have all day ni. Mm -hmm. Did I mention that one of the members of this band is a drummer named Zook? Thought that might be of interest to you. Oh, kau kata Zook? Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Hmm. Can't tell if that's meant to be a Star Wars reference or not. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. This this doesn't seem super referential, uh, which I'm grateful for. I think often too too many times games mistake humor for references. Uh, I'm not against a little room a room uh, reference here and there, but. Is this his son? Oh, you mean Zook is his son? Yeah, Zook seems a little a little young to have kids running around. Well, damn, okay. Yeah, YouTube channels do that too sometimes. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, Alright, I'm going to... I think I'm going to move on to bullets per minute here. Time for bullets per minute. More music! Music-based games. I'm definitely going to play through the rest of this soon. Oh, somebody wanted to listen to the um, the actual tracks themselves. Uh, where can you do that? In storage? Where'd my croc go? Oh, he's down there. Alright. Yeah, Malcolm, I'm, I'm definitely going to do do more of this game. 
Uh, do the DK West fight? Concert Hall in the Plaza. Oh, okay. All right. Well. Oh, it won't let me go. It won't let me leave. I gotta see the briefing first. What's up, Flip? Spectacular performance at Akusaka, you two. Simply impressive. Thanks. Your gadgets and hints were helpful. Yeah. What have you got for us next? I'm still in the midst of preparing, but there's been quite a commotion in the alley nearby. Perhaps you could go see what the fuss is about while I finalize these. I'll be done soon. No there was 100% a Sailor Moon reference in the previous yeah. boss fight? Take oh, really? We'll go see what the I missed it. But then again, I don't know that much about Sailor Moon, so... game fun. I was thinking about getting it. Just got here so I haven't seen you play. Um, I think so, but it's pretty in line with the kinds of things that I like and the kinds of games that I like. There does seem to be a bit... The, the combat mechanics themselves get a bit dodgy. Day and Sook, I've been waiting! Ooh, for what? But oh, it's like a, a bit more mechanically complicated uh, than something like Sayonara Wild Hearts, and the music is a lot better than Sayonara Wild Hearts. To see your efforts to make a change. Simply inspirational. So if you like that game, I think you will like this quite a bit. Unless you don't want more mechanical complexity. Interesting that you should say so. I'm currently starting my brand new radio channel for the occasion. Oh, that's cool. Our preparation's going. It was going fine until the place was reclaimed just the other day. It'll take some time for me to recover my equipment and set up a new broadcasting booth. You need a place? Why don't you come over to our pad? We happen to have some extra space. Can I? Really? <laughs> what do you say, Zook? Sure thing. The more uh, the merrier. Zam has a kind face. Awesome! I'll get oh, you. in the name of the sea, I will punish you. Got you. Okay, yeah. That makes sense then. Ah, look at him. He's grooving. If you saw that guy out on the sidewalk, you'd feel good. You'd feel safe. Oh, about to be the, uh, shoot. What was the DJ in Jet Set Radio? I'm trying to remember. Dang it, I can't get there. Alright. Well, I guess I'll do this. Somebody was very insistent when I do this part. I already forgot who. <sighs> Crap, man. Three dog. Machambo. Professor K, that was it. Thank you, Captain. So fast. my Missy. Namaku DK West. Ewa! Read my bayang super guy! Ewa! Tulu dan kini hebat selamanya! Ewa! Dan satu lagi, aku pun sebenarnya Zook punya! Oh, brother. Exactly! Zook's big brother! Big bro, called it. Perkenalan, awak ni mesti Mayday. What's going on back there, though? Oh. He's got a chant line? So this is your brother? Like a bongo line? How come you don't share his <laughs> Thank you, Blue Fox. Well, I don't know. How come your hair is yellow? What's that got to do with West? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Again with that comedic timing. Love it. That's one of the problems I've always had with games that try to have comedic timing is there's like loading buffers between the the vocal lines. So having like really snappy dialogue helps with delivering comedy. Tak jawab message kau. You angry. Aku jual drum set kau. You angry. Eh, hey, jangan jam tu lah. Stop it, West. You're disrupting our music revolution, man. We've got tons of things to do, and I don't have time to play around with you. You understand? Eh, hey, relax, bro. Relax. Kalau kau nak fans kau balik, senang je. Tunjuk kat mereka siapa lebih hebat. Hadap aku di ewa rap battle. Awesome. I don't have time to play. Okay lah, aku pergi cuci lagi fans kau. Ah, fine then. Let's get this over with. Ah, ah, jaya lah. All right. Oh Christ. Ah, 
Okay. When you see Zook in school, he was constantly out of fuel. All he does is follow me. Like a stinking fly, he can't help it, cuz... I'm the trailblazing guy. Zook knows nothing like a baby. Everywhere he looks, he thinks maybe... I have to show him the ropes. But all he does is move. Whoa! Oh! Oh, okay. Am I trying to hit the hands? I guess so, yeah. Oh, you should see West in school. He ain't nothing but a ridicule. He thinks he's a top student, but when in truth, he's nothing but imprudent. Feels like he's entitled to everything. Tells the birds for him they should sing. Chest up, walks around proud, but a small push and he'll sure drop loud. Hey, looky there, little boy Zuki. Little the boy right there. Oh, he's such a rookie. Well, at least I had my friends. You only had me pretend all the way to the end. You're lucky we're oh, even this must have been a pain brother, in the you ass. Huh. And because I'm the world's greatest, you can pause, go all in my shadows, bask in the awesomeness, the magnificence, the one and only DK West. Think you're the center of everything, but this greatness that you speak simply hides the fact that you're meek. And these delusions are really your illusions, and your rhymes are just behind the times. You think that you are a king, but if I said that, I'd be lying. The world doesn't revolve around you, even in the multiverse, you're not worth a verse. Oh, rest, 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 rest in peace. Oh, these dust. <laughs> Yeah, his health isn't going down. I wonder... I have an idea. That's the one thing I haven't tried. Oh, okay, no. It is. The first bar is going down, yeah. I mean, the verses are changing, so... Unless they wrote infinite rap. Which would be pretty cool. College is such a shame. The top spot is no longer his to claim. All respect he used to have has now been drop, drop, drop in half. He hates seeing me succeed so well. He turns into a child and bids college bye bye. The once great West, with all his charming ability, has now learned a hard lesson in humility. <laughs> a real baddie robber not even a showstopper he stole all my friends and none 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 of his own and nadia man you remember that girl you only added her because i was in the sheet you couldn't stop at stealing friends you stole a girl that made me couldn't breathe robber of friends copycat zook you ain't nothing without west you ain't nothing without west man, they're getting personal now huh <laughs> Like you, Wes, because we're slimy, sleazy, cheesy. Ewa, going on hero. Actually, see Desperado from a scale of one to ten. You are below the bottom of the lame, lame end. You are never as good as you thought. Only your imagination never had a drought. You think you're a marathon runner. You never even ran right in pilot. You were canceled. The end. As you left college with the most shame to hide. Left the loser, snoozer, my brother. Oh, mic drop. Reality check, please. Cash that adulting life. You DK hack. Hmm. 
announced about our crazy challenger. That was awesome. Challenger. No, you didn't. Macam ni lah. Kau pergi rehat dulu. Huh? Aku datang balik bila kau boleh rap macam pro. Okay, bro. West out. <laughs> hey, where are you going? I want this battle fair. Yeah, double fine vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Right. Okay, leave. Just leave. Okay. I'm sensing a lot of anger here. <laughs> what happened to Zook? Did yeah, good call, Captain. In Vinyl City. <sighs> yeah, I know, I know. Just that the sky is so, so. Ah! Oh. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Guys, I think that might have been a JoJo reference. I don't know, though. I don't know. Man, you gotta get through that whole thing without taking a hit, huh? I'll try to play that song. Um, I don't know if the game will let me go to that area. <laughs> Sleeping with a book on his face? I won't let me leave! Alright, well. Uh, that's okay. I'll switch up here now. Uh, there are more DK West encounters? Good. Good. Yeah, that's. I mean, they they set it up to be like a recurring thing, and I would I would be shocked if they made that whole gameplay uh, mechanic and 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 it worked huh? and only use it once. Um, she's tempting you with her skirt facing you. Oh, you mean you mean Zook? I'm like me. I'm out here. Well, he's clearly not having it. So, yeah, they're they're a lot harder. Yeah, it'll be interesting when those charts get really tough with the two sticks at a time. That was pretty interesting. All right, break time. Uh, I gotta eat a snack. I'm gonna play the rest of the game on stream. Yeah, probably. This doesn't seem like it's gonna be too long, which makes it a pretty easy to game to blast through on stream. But uh, the night, the day is wearing on, and I really want to. Uh, I really want to check out BPM. So uh, probably in the next couple days, I might come back to this and finish it off. At least I hope to. <clears throat> All right, but break time. Gotta eat a snack, and then I'll be back with bullets per minute. Wait, bullets per minute. Yes, beats. Bullets per minute. BPM. See you guys soon very quickly.